Whitetail deer hunting is passion, tears, laughter, smiles, good times, bad times, and chasing the thrill. This is Private Times. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to Legacy Outdoors. As you can tell, we're not on water today. I'm in camo already because I was chilly. Starting the day off trying to find our ground blind from last year. <laughs> so welcome to the series, Private Tines. Um, this is just gonna be a little series of us hunting a little bit of private land. Hopefully we can get out on some public land. And uh, what are we doing right now, Josh? Hiking. Hiking. <laughs> Looking for all ground blind. Yeah. And I don't see the ground blind, so. It's probably long now. But we're gonna look for this blind, look for a new spot to post up, and then we're gonna do some uh, target shooting. So hang on tight and hopefully we can uh, kill some swamp donkeys. <laughs> That's a nice little cranny. You had that path mode up here last time. Yeah, it did come up here, didn't it? I think if I ever got my mower back out here, I want to mow. Yeah, I'd go to the corner. All the way to the corner. Honestly, Josh, that's where I would sit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because if somebody is going to hunt that other side, and if they get spooked, they're going to come over here. Yeah, there's a bed. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, I just saw a little jump fan. Gotta have a little bit of cover, though. Yeah. Not a very. I'm on a bed in here. Yeah, there's a bed. Oh, that's a bed in there. I don't want to fit on the bed. No, look at this trail, though. Just coming straight. Over the fence. To here. Well, yeah, look at this too. Dude, that's a, that's a big trail. Yeah. I think it's coyotes. I think it's all. Look at this view though. Beautiful. Got this beautiful scenery. And then you got Josh. Yeah, I thought that I was a beautiful senior. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, are these berries edible? Well, the only way to find out is to try one. Let me know. Let me know, people. Are these edible? I don't even know what kind of plant this is. I don't know. I'm not going to try it. I don't feel like going to the hospital today. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow's a work day, so. Yeah, I'll do it on a Monday, so by next weekend, you better be. Go hunting again. Yep. You know what? I'd, I was gonna say, I would set. Literally, I'd set. Well, because you don't want to be right on top of the hill. I'd sit in here. I wonder that. Because you got that brush there to cover you. Yeah. Because if you sit here, obviously they're gonna see your silhouette when you come over. Yeah. Plus, if they're coming over the hill, they're going away from the sun. Uh -huh. But if they come uphill, hopefully I hog Molly one before that, but. Hopefully. They wouldn't see you because of the sun. I got all these trails. I don't know if you can see them, but there's a trail going here. There's a trail that me and Josh are walking. There's a trail that goes right through there. I mean, there's a lot of activity on our cameras. Uh, we're seeing a lot of coyotes. So I don't know what kind of deer are around this year. There's been a couple decent does, but for bucks, been a little off um it's only october it's the first week of october so no spikes this week we're gonna wait it out and hopefully we can see something big so at this point me and josh are walking around trying to scout out some spots where josh can sit we've been hunting this place for quite a few years now and we've got three tree stands 
The plan is for me to sit in a tree stand that's on this hill, about where Josh is pointing right there. And then Josh is gonna kind of sit just on a bucket or on the chair, kind of in some sheltered area. Um, but right now we're just kind of walking around, seeing what trails are going where, figuring out where he's gonna sit before we end up sighting in our bows and going in for a hunt. Yeah, so do I. I haven't been up here in a while. It'd be cool if we found a shed. Oh, speaking of a shed, what kind of bone is this? Is that a hip bone? To what? I don't know. It's the only bone around here. That's how you know there's coyotes around here. Oh my goodness. I feel like outdoor boys right now. It's magical. A lot of, oh. a lot of times is where they come down. Right here? Right from here, yeah. And I follow this ridge line. They come down here like this. Right in the right spot. Give us your best deer impersonation right now. My debt, my best year. Yeah, what would you do if you were a deer coming to this spot? I'd probably scrape this <laughs> Scrape that. And mark my territory. Poop over there. Scrape and take a piss over there. <laughs> Walk over here. What's that, paint? I think that's bird poop. Oh. See? Deer impression. <laughs> I'm leaving a scrape. Okay. Josh the deer whisperer. I think somebody dumped a log here. Think someone dumped a log? Yeah, probably. I had one come right through here before and he stood right here. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. And he smelled me. Yeah. Cause there's I don't know if y'all can see, but there's a tree stand right there. See, that's the ridge line they follow sometimes. Mm-hmm. They, and they right walk down. down. And sometimes they'll come right down the middle of that little valley too. But I've had them come up and straight out and down. And now both, a lot of them come out by that pine tree over there though. Like they'll come down and around. I feel like Rambo. <laughs> they don't look like Rambo though. <laughs> Way down on the All right, here we go. I don't know how well you can see the targets, but do some shooting. Don't judge me. Josh got, what were you shooting today? Botech conversion. Okay, Botech, and then you got, watch this. This is. So Josh picked up this Hoyt, okay, the night trucks, at a pawn shop. For how much? $155. $155. Like, original, like, online, the cheapest you find is 450 and he got this thing for 155 Like, insane. Josh has these fancy little bows. And, uh, I'll show you what I have here. I got the old PSE Chaos. Nothing fancy, just gonna sling her and let her ring her. Um... Might yeah, this is gonna be fun. So first time I've shot in over a year. All right, Joshy. Here we go. It's game time. Let's go try and kill something. We'll attempt to, right? Got the bows somewhat sighted in. Actually, a lot better than they were. So, 
get her going. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you. Good luck. See you later, Captain. See you later. Josh has got a camera. We'll see his viewpoint. Look at him going. Yeah. You put my big old head. <laughs> so, we're going to see his viewpoint tonight. Um, yeah. Good luck. Go, uh, make sure you go kill something. You too. Kill something, okay? Night. No, me either. This will be the first night. After a pretty long walk uphill, I'm pretty winded at this point, but I make it into the tree stand. Josh is going to be sitting on the fence line across from the tree stand up the hill a little more. Let's try and figure out where Josh is sitting now. I'm hunting on the ground, Chase is in the tree stand. And now your local weather by Josh. October 6th, 68 degrees, about 5 o'clock, it's supposed to cool off to 60 by sunset. Been pretty warm around here lately. At this point we've been sitting for about an hour. There's been no action for me in the tree stand, but Josh did get to see four doe walk over the hill upon him. As you can see, there's one to the right of the screen staring him down, probably catches his scent or sees him and starts running away. The other three kind of just hang out for a bit. Finally, I get to see some deer. Bad news is they're so far away you can barely see them on camera. All the way on the other side of that hill, there's a four doe running along. That's not really what we were looking for in the first place, but I was finally able to see some deer. Now Josh isn't a loner, and I'm pretty sure these are the same four doe that Josh had seen earlier in the night. Back to base camp. Back to base camp. How'd it go for you, Josh? Well, you seen four doe. Four doe. I've seen five doe about half a mile away. So that was fun. All right, that wraps up episode one of Private Tines. Not too exciting. No, not tonight. But it's also the first week of bow season, so. Yeah. Cooldown's coming along, and uh, yeah, if you stuck around this long, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Woo, time to go eat. Wiener winks. <laughs>